Wildlife 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 Reserves, Exotic Species, Deep Blue Seas, Tanzania is an amalgamation of the best nature has to offer. Apart from being a world-class wildlife destination, this country in Eastern Africa is a haven for tourists who want a relaxing getaway amidst Tanzania's lush grasslands. If you're planning your next getaway to this exotic gem, here's a list of top 10 things to do in Tanzania that you cannot miss. Visit Serengeti National Park. You have to start your vacation in Tanzania amidst the wild species the country is most famous for. The best time for wildlife viewing is between December and June. The Great Migration is one of the highlights of the National Park. It occurs annually and is home to the migration of over 1.5 million white-bearded wildebeest and 250,000 zebras. Take a break at the beaches in Zanzibar. Grab your swimsuits and head to the turquoise waters of Zanzibar for the ultimate chill session. The island of Zanzibar has gorgeous, soft white sand, palm trees and traditional boats. You can choose to lounge on the beach or go and involve yourself with the island life, interacting with welcoming locals. Experience life in a Maasai village. A trip to East Africa would be incomplete without a glimpse into the lives of the Maasai tribe. The welcoming inhabitants of the village who were originally nomads and warriors will show you lots of things. For starters, they will make a fire while performing a dance that involves jumping high in the air. You can also pick up traditional souvenirs from these villages to take home. Snorkel at Mafia Island Mafia Island is a great place for divers and snorkelers to explore the waters. The island is protected by the Mafia Island Marine Park. The best time to go diving here is from October to March, but the best weather on the island is May to October. The marine park on the island has a beautiful coral garden and a variety of marine life. Visit the Gorongoro Conservation Area. Home to the famous volcanic Gorongoro Crater, the Gorongoro Conservation Area is situated between Serengeti and Lake Mandraya. The huge volcanic crater draws all kinds of animals to it because of its permanent supply of water. On the crater floor, you'll witness thousands of wild games, including lions, elephants, rhinos, thompsons, gazelles and buffaloes. Explore African culture in Arusha Cultural Heritage Center. An interesting place to explore Tanzania's rich history. Arusha Cultural Heritage Center is essentially a privately owned collection of shops and galleries. There is a collection of modern and antique art, information on the history of the hundreds of tribes that inhabit the country and several souvenirs to choose from. You can quite literally walk through African culture as you visit this cultural center. Visit Lake Manyara National Park. Explore more wildlife at Lake Manyara National Park. Two-third of this area is covered by waters of the same name and is most famous for its flamingo population. Apart from migrating flamingos, you will also see storks, kingfishers and eagles. You can also go on a canoe safari. Lake Manyara is a scenic gem and is most famous for the rare sightings of tree climbing lions. Visit Prison Island to see the giant Aldebra tortoise. Also known as Changu Island, it is located about 30 minutes from Stone Town. The island was formerly owned by an Arab and was used to house rebellious slaves in the 1860s. Now, it is most renowned for being the resident colony of giant Aldebra tortoise, an endangered species that arrived in Zanzibar as a gift from the government of Seychelles. Take a balloon safari over Serengeti. Get on a balloon safari over the Serengeti if you are in the mood to splurge a little and spoil yourself. The breathtaking view is worth the extra money you might have to spend. As you fly over the spectacular landscapes, you'll spot wildlife over several kilometers. After the safari, you will be treated to champagne and breakfast. Climb Mount Kilimanjaro The snow-capped peaks of Mount Kilimanjaro are a sight to behold. A World Heritage Site, Kilimanjaro was formed over 1 million years ago by volcanic movement along the Rift Valley. 
If you are an adventurer, the best time to climb the peak is from late June to October during the dry season. Don't forget to like this video and do tell us in the comment section about your experiences. Also, subscribe to Travel Earth and press the bell icon for more such videos.